Ah, welcome back everyone to an episode of Morocco. Ooh. So, we had a little problem last time. And the problem involved around this little guy right here thinking that he's all big and he had guys big and britches stuff. He thinks he can be all yeah to me. Think he could do this stuff to me. He thinks he can embargo me. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm here to tell him that he can't and I'm here to go have some fun with some naval stuff. I mean, now that I have like an insanely powerful navy, like Look at my navy. It's 65.5. That's insanely powerful. Which is so nice. Uh, col colony damage. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. So, uh, let's gain these guys on the ships. Go send them to Madagascar and let's start colonizing this area over here. So, yeah. We're keeping, by the way, we're keeping ourselves in this war right now. Uh, naval development. Yes. That's pretty nice. That naval tech thing is going to be pretty nice. We're keeping ourselves in the war right now because we're trying to, like, uh, make sure that we can get what we want from specific stuff. Oh, yeah, and look at, look at that. Even with 3k, we can still beat all the natives. That's good. You guys start colonizing, and we're just going to try to colonize all of Africa before all of these guys over here try to mess with me, which would be pretty angry. But, yeah. We're just keeping these guys in the war until I can get what I want from the Mamelukes. Which I've already pointed out what I want. I want all of the northern coastline. Alexandria specifically. Alexandria is going to be such a nice province. And yeah, that's what I specifically want. And with that, I think I might also try to get the hostile core creation cost. And the ship Berber traditions. Because that's going to be pretty nice. And global trade. Ooh, global trade power plus 10%. Yeah, I'm going to try to get one more ideas, probably from Administrative, maybe, I probably, no, not from Diplo, because we're going to have to use Diplo to go make this deal. You guys want an alliance. Well, I'm sorry, I can't give you guys an alliance, because I'm going to have to play a war on you. Speaking of which, you guys, I know you guys are already allied, wow. You guys, who are you allied with? Oman. Well, if Oman were to attack me, I would be very disappointed. So, first off, let me just start fabricating a claim onto these guys. And yeah, you guys only know up. You guys only knew I was gonna do this, so it's not. It's it should be no shock to these guys. I'm just gonna go instantly in and to crush them, driving them from what they call. Oh, call for peace, shoot. Okay, uh, I will. I'm I'm gonna end it. Don't worry. I just have to wait for. For these stupid points are coming okay and while we're also doing that you guys now are feeling threatened you guys should if you guys were diplo annexable i would totally not have the problem of attacking or being a friend honestly if, if that was possible we could all be friends if you were diplo annex you could be my friend you know that song why can't we be friends 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 Okay, now let's get 18, let's get like 18 money for a little bit, because that's pretty nice. And we're just, we're just, I know we won, but we're just sitting here on your capital just because. I mean, we really have no instance of really reason why we want to sit here in your country, but actually, I'm going to say, Mama Luke, that we just love being in your country. Your country is really nice to live in. In fact, it's so nice that we might actually want to take it for our own. And I'm dividing the army evenly amongst themselves. Ah, oh, great. Here comes the revolts. Uh, come on. I want my Diplo stuff because I really want to get this deal. And I, yes, I could accept less if I got if I dis destroyed the money, but not by very much. So, and I'm not going to accept anything less because I want this. I mean, look at these base tax levels right here. Dang. Plus all the production that goes with it, we could gain a lot. So. Yeah, that's the reason why I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep this until I die. And I really do mean that, until I die. And over here, I'm getting a corn. This place is... Yeah, and I'm probably... What I'm probably going to do is just conquer this entire place right here. And then once I uh, conquer it... Um, yeah, because we can't actually... As you guys know, we can't actually, like, Diplo Annex, which is so stupid. Technological advantage should not give me that much of an advantage. But if we could... Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm a little bit peeved that we can't do it, but Ethiopia Protectorates, okay, we're almost there, one more month, one more month, guys! In 1832, we finally finished up our first war, and this is only the first war we've ever done with them, so this is pretty nice, there we go. Okay, 
Now that we got this, I just want you to know, Mama Luke's, you guys fought pretty well, but now you need to give me, now you need to give me all your money. Ha! <laughs> oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so, let's start gaining the, uh, admin points to do all this. And do we want to accept Egyptian as an accepted culture group? Well, let's see, what do we already have accepted into us? Berber, Mazobai. Well, you know, we could possibly accept Egyptian into our, like, culture group. I mean, it would not be entirely this possible. I just hope it wouldn't. The only thing I'm worried about is it might displace, like, the Mali, which would be an insanely bad thing to happen. Because if they displace the Mali, who? But, you know, what we could do is at least try. We could at least try to be peaceful with the Egyptians and see if we can gain all what we need to gain. I'm going to keep an army over here. Just standardized. Oh, my goodness. No more. Yeah, keep losing infamy. Thank you. We're finally getting on the same page, events. Okay. Local tax modifier. Let's start getting some of these, too. So I want to start gaining more. Okay, and there's our second, there's our second, like, Karak ship. Gain, put them all over here, and I think this is, this is the army I'm actually going to stick it with. And, you guys over here, I guess, done patrolling, you guys just go right here. There we go, we have all of our ships in specific areas. We still have a little bit of still three fleets, probably because I don't really need them right now. But yeah, that makes my... Like, it's a good day. That is good, that is good to know. Quality Agri. And one of our leaders just died. That is not a good sign. Our uh, son's still alive, which is not good because I didn't really like our son. And we have a mission right now. What is it again? We are trying to achieve religious unity. Ah, yes. And apparently we lost a lot of our good charm, which means it might take a really long time for that event. Yeah. Let's see, I'm pretty sure, wait, does it mean need to be 100% or does it need to be like close to 100%? Oh, 100%. Yeah, no, we're not going to be able to achieve that in 5 years. So let's just cancel this mission. Yeah, it's kind of a waste of a mission right there. But I thought, I thought it was just like, you just get close to 100% and then you could like, do stuff. But apparently not, they want 100%, which is something we just can't do right now. While I'm also on the subject, let's declare war on you guys. Oh, uh, breaking truce. Oh my goodness, you guys have a truce. Okay, down to you guys. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, it seems like I have a truce with those guys, so I can't really do anything, but let's just... Uh, yeah, let's just get a claim on you guys, and while we're doing that, we should probably start improving relationships with somebody. Who do we want to improve relationships with? Well... You know, let's improve relationship with Sweden, because Sweden seems to be like a regional power right now, which is pretty weird, especially for Sweden. Like, usually Sweden's supposed to be this happy to go lightly country, but now it's actually a, a pretty warristic and pretty, like, powerful, centralized country. I mean, I should know, I played in Sweden before. Okay. We still have tons and tons of money. We're producing, like, greatly. Okay, marketplaces. Let's see, I was doing this specifically so I could get my trade node. There we go. That should make my area more powerful and more, like, trade value-wise better because this is, this is honestly the one that everyone wants to go to, but I don't know. I think I like mine a little bit better. Let's see. My capital's been here forever. And it's base tax 5. Do we have any other better provinces in our land? Like, now that we're a little bit older of a country, let's see, score over time, number of provinces, provinces overview, base tax, who has the highest base tax, Timbuktu, tax highest, who has the highest base tax, Timbuktu, Timbuktu, hmm, fort, who has the highest fort level, okay, who has the highest production level? Burr! Holy shoot, Burr, dang! Okay. Wow. Hmm. So if I wanted to go for anything, I think I should probably go for Burr. Burr if I were to move in my capital. Dang, but this is producing so much. <laughs> wow. I'm just looking at that like, amazed, but... Um... 
Yeah, I'm thinking about moving my capital, guys. I mean, I've liked Malak Dish for the longest of time, but... Um... Oh no! They tell us about the event of the English Civil War where the royalists start choosing. Oh no. So apparently the Protestant Reformation event finally happened in England, so they're gonna start having Protestants popping up everywhere, so that's gonna be cool to see. But like I was about to say, um, Timbuktu as a capital, I mean, it's a, it's not bad. I mean, it would have an important center of trade. Um, it would just kind of ruin like all my trade steering, but I feel like we get so much more out of it. Cause this would be like give us 16 production bonus. I mean, our capital right now, it's okay. I mean, it's building wool, but I feel like this is only 14 days tax plus 16. Uh, I, I don't know. I, 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 I'll let you guys think about it for one episode, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe that would be better, and I'm pretty sure it's about time to start increasing relationships with you guys and bring these guys back. Oh, man, I, I was just improving relationships with them, too. They must be so mad. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to try to do this. And, yeah, we kind of need that ship less cost thing, so. Conversion successful. Huzzah! It took us so long to convert that one province. Gosh dang. <laughs> okay, and let's see. So, Heavy Karax, I'm going to have you guys patrol from here all the way to over there. Okay. That way we destroy... Yeah, start patrolling. Yeah, there we go. That way we destroy any like of these pirate ships. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that we have pirate ships over here. That is not good. Yeah, we do not like pirate ships in our country. No, we do not. No, we do not. Okay, but yeah, now we should be... Wow, that was a pretty good war, and it gave us, like, a much better prestige rating. And let's see, how are we doing? 16, 18, 17, 19, yeah, we still... Uh, I want to start taking down ideas so badly. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to skip... I'm just going to get one more idea in the uh, administrative ideas right here in the mercenary maintenance. That way I can just gain this, you know, galley ability of 20%, plus this also core of this naval cost 10%. Which then, if I coupled with this, oh my goodness, that's like, oh my goodness, that's a powerful, a powerful, like, advantage. Naval tradition. And we're just, I, I don't even think I can go any further than I, no! Actually, no, I actually don't want to destroy my army tradition, because it's actually good! It's actually semi-decent right now! <laughs> like, usually I have a terrible army tradition, but right now it's actually fairly fine. We also need a militaristic advisor. Wow, why is our economy doing so, like, bad right now? What's going on here? Taxation, lack of piety, formalized skills, weights. We're having lots of taxation issues. Why is that? Okay. Uh, Ashanti, you want to accept the culture? Huh. I still have Ashanti over here. Why did I keep you guys around again? Huh. I don't know, but... Why are you guys not making me much tax? Tax efficiency, not accepted culture. Okay, I know why you guys are making tax. Okay, are you guys making tax? Yes, you guys are making all of our taxes. So, what part of the region is not making me any of my tax? Hmm. This Ashanti thing is starting to become a little bit big. It's actually a couple of nations. Epidemic, ooh. End of the Civil War, that's not good. That means England most likely became Catholic most likely became Catholic? Ah. Well, actually, wait a minute. I'm probably, an accepted culture, I'm probably going to accept uh, whatever the Ottomans are, the accepted culture, so that's not going to be good. And England is still Catholic! Wow! Huh. I expected them to actually switch over, but apparently they decided to remain Catholic, so... Yeah, apparently the big Catholic, I mean, the big Protestant nation in this game is Sweden. Wow. That's kind of... Cool, I guess. We gained a core in a province. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe it's because of this coin cost stuff right here. Well, I should gain a lot of money once I gain all these provinces. Because it's like tons and tons of stuff. But actually, now thinking about it, I probably should like convert the culture because 
I don't think I'll be able to support whatever the Ottomans are, and then also support whatever the Mamluks are, and then also support the uh, whatever the Mali are. I think one of the cultures is going to be displaced, which will then, as you guys all know, will cause me headaches. So let's see. Let's gain this last little bit right here. That way we finish out our Berber ideas. Maintenance cost goes down on everywhere. Ship cost went slightly down. Not by very much. Oh well. Yeah, that's kind of mean. That's kind of mean or bad, but yeah. Now we get that, plus we get our 10%. We got our 10% ship cost. Oh man. So yeah, now our ships cost a little bit less, which is going to be nice to do. And yeah. Okay, blockade efficiency. Naval move power leader. Oh no! Yeah, natives aren't going to do much to me. I'm sorry, but they're just not going to do much to me. I'm more powerful than natives. Remember this, I'm more powerful than natives, and as soon as I can, I think I'm going to boost up stability, because I think I honestly do need it, okay, because if I boost up stability, then I could possibly have, like, better income right now, because I'm having a little bit of bad income. I'm not saying I'm having terrible income, I'm just having a little bit of bad, which is not good for a country of my stature. Okay, let's go right here, build up those two walls, that way just in case if somebody tried to go down there, they could not do anything. Okay, before you do that 50%, let me gain what I need. Wait, wait, I don't want to lose the ducats. There we go. Ha 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 ha. So now we see, and our economy just went back to being good. There we go. Yes, yeah, so yeah, we're probably going... I'm um, most likely we're probably gonna have to convert all these like individually little cultures, which is going to annoy me. But ah man, I guess it's just what it's gonna have to be. And do we have a core on these guys yet? By the way, you guys are also suffering nutrition. Oh, I don't like the attrition. You guys right here. Wait, it's not you guys. Oh, it's you guys. Whoops! I forgot to get you guys out of. <laughs> I've got to get you guys out of the Mamluks land. Whoops. They've been there for like a couple of years just sitting there in the mom looks side being like, Hey, what's up guys? How's your empire? Oh, that's good. That's good. How's the cake? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. We got more technological advances. To Doom, Cavalry Shock. Yeah, we're about to have advances in galleys. Oh my goodness. We are literally advancing at a good rapid pace catching up to all the world powers i think we have a definite shot by the end of this game to be like the world power i'm not even like joking just insanely we could be insanely powerful in this game let's see do we want to colonize any of this over here yet now nah, let's start actually colonizing some of this inside land that we've been neglecting until now like seriously, we've neglected all of this, and it looks pretty weird to have all this land that's just randomly there. And let's see, over here, you guys, you guys about ready to be annexed? I think you guys are, right? Yep, you guys are about ready to be annexed. Wait, let me make sure. Yep, you guys are about ready to be annexed. Let's start improve relationships. Let's see, you guys want improve relations? Not that much. Okay, so once we've done improve relationship with you guys. You guys will all be ready to annex, which would be really nice to have. Uh, you guys, can I annex you? Or do I have to actually go to war against you guys? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go against the war against you guys, that kind of stinks. And I wanna, I really wish I could just annex, like just diplo annex these guys. It'd be much simpler, easier, and just much more common on my nation of Morocco, which is now expanding all the way down here. It looks so awesome. But look at that, guys. Look at that. Morocco. Oh. <laughs> and then we also have more expansion, We're also closing in some of these gaps over here that we've had for since the very beginning of the game, honestly. We have our troops over here lined up on the borders, making sure that the Mamelukes don't try anything. Even though, even if they did try something, I think we could probably deal with them. But still, we're just, we're just making sure, okay? Making honest, honestly sure that they do not try anything. Okay, we also can build another little thing. That's what I'll do right now. And there we go. And let's see. Are you guys allied with anyone? Because I'm pretty sure I could declare war on you guys. I've been just kind of neglecting it. Okay, so I can't get a stability hit. Let's get that. Yeah, let's yeah, let's get that first, and then we're gonna declare war. Mamelukes, 
do that. Oh, goodness. Yeah. You get to be declared one. Oh, no. Okay, guys. Guess not this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Next episode, we will declare war on the Kilwa. Finally start claiming some of this land down here and start doing a lot more stuff. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.